one of my favorite things about going to the re to a Mexican restaurant is they give you when you get in there you get what do you get? Chips and you get some salsa. So here's a few chips. We have some scoops here prepared. I have a little thing right here. Keep the chips fresh. Alright, so we have our chips, but now we have to have something to dip. So I told you I was going to get this chunky salsa for today. That's the one I'm going to use. And so, I'm going to pour a little bit in here. Okay, we have some of our normal salsa here. And it's really good. I like it a lot. It has a great crunch, these chips do. But this is just a mild, I think, hold on, let's see here, medium. So let's just see, no heat really at all. Great flavor. Wow. It's not hot, it's not overpowering. But here's what I want to do. I know, Kayla's like, oh, I can't believe you're going to do that, Daddy. I'm just going to mix just a little tiny little bit of that hot. It's super, super hot. Okay, mix in a little bit of the super hot. Now let's see what that's going to be like. Because I don't want it super, super hot, but I don't want it to be wimpy either, you know. Um, you know, most Mexicans that I've encountered can really tolerate a lot of heat, and they kind of take pride in the fact that, you know, oh, that's not hot, you know. So I don't want to wimp out is what I'm trying to say, but I don't want it to be unpleasant either, dude. I was, I was sweating. I mean, I was sweating, I'm telling you, like, I took the hat off, I'm like, it took like a good 15 minutes to cool down. I'm not trying to relive that, but at the same time, let's see if we can mix this and make this just right. I think I know, you know what I'm getting at. I don't want to waste this. This is uh, Tostitos. This is very expensive. I think it's like just hot enough. It's not super hot. It's just hot enough. So, um, well, I'm, I really want to combine those super bad, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. But that's pretty hot. Now that, just, now that it's sunk in, it's just as hot as it was yesterday, essentially. <laughs> now I have the same predicament, but either way, we're going to have a multiple um, dips. another huge component the freshness of the ingredients so you have your avocado just chop it up some people choose to have um, maybe chunks of this on the taco itself which might be good but um, there's definitely an easier way They make a little utensil that will smash it. I don't have that, obviously. It's not too bad. Avocados have a great flavor once you become accustomed to them and um, once you learn how to use the avocados, it's a great component to add to different things that you like to jazz it up and make it better. And add multitude of health benefits. Avocado, I'm not even going to go and start mentioning the health benefits. 
I don't know them all, honestly. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on everything, but I know it is um, full of potassium. Great for you. Okay, so we have our avocado here. Let's see what that tastes like, just that. With our chips. So I might try to like put some avocado up here. First, let's just do one to see what it tastes like. It might just be bitter. Kind of bland. Put a little salt. Tiny bit of salt. Great flavor though. Add a little salsa. Not a lot. Making a mess, so. This is gonna loosen the avocado up a little bit. Make it a little bit more creamy. You can add sour cream also. Another great component. So, I like to take it little by little just to see what it's going to be like. So, there's one with our salsa. Mmm. There's a little bit more. Hey, let's just mix it all together. Why not? Sometimes I tend to go overboard. Sorry. Maybe this is just, just what it needs. Combination of all three. I mean, this is the most attractive thing. Maybe we should add some um, sour cream to lighten up the color now. It almost looks like you have beans in there. What does it taste like? Really good. That's really good. Wow. It's not hot. I mean, I wish I could. Uh, wow. That's a great combination. Uh, I don't usually, whenever I do these things, I don't measure. I just kind of go with whatever feels right. But hard to replicate it sometimes, if that makes sense. But we have a pretty good dip here, in my opinion. Maybe put some corn in there, some beans or something like that. People say, oh, what is this? This is a new kind of dip. Yeah, they have this new dip at the restaurant down there. You go check it out. Mmm. Mm -hmm. let's, let let's let Kayla try one. Mm -hmm. She'll be honest, she'll tell you, you'll know by her face. Is it good or bad? Good. It's good? All right, Kayla gave it a thumbs up. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, so, even though it's not the most beautiful, I gotta do this. Here, hold this. You know I'm tempted to go all the way with it. What do you think I'm gonna do next? Oh. I like sour cream, some people. For a cup of tea. Oh man, little thing popped off. <laughs> I was trying to open it. Guess we'll just have to stab it. Mm, we have two of them, right? Two of them. Might as well go ahead and use it all up. Go ahead and get my chip over here. Mmm. That's good in the kettle. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna get a fresh spoon that way I don't contaminate. Someone should do like a spoonful. A little bit goes a long way. And there's no doubt this is gonna change the color. Back up a little bit. Let's see if it's a positive change or not. Back up a little bit. Sour cream. Oh, it lightened it up big time. 
again, the aroma that the sour cream brought changed it big time. Is that better? Is that worse? I don't know if that's better or worse. Better. So looks wise, you think that's better? All right, let's see what it tastes like now. We have a combination of avocado, salsa. We need some fresh cut onions in there. Mmm. All right, go ahead. Mm. Is it good? Uh -huh. All right, she's shy. Mmm, look at that. Wow. Mm. Dude, that is good, is it not? I mean, you usually don't hold back when something's good and you're going for more. I know that's a good sign. Wow, she's got a massive one. <laughs> There you go. Mm, wow. We got a lot of prep work to do. I'll be back.